I already know what I'm going to call today's video, and obviously so do you, because that's how movie magic works, right? This is from US Arms Co, and I have to say that this is the most obnoxious product that I have tested in my entire life, and I absolutely love it. To convey that to you, I'm going to show you my first shot ever through this thing with single hearing protection on. Wow! <laughs> it's all <awesome. laughs> cool. Now here's the thing. I'm an asshole. And you guys know this, that's one of the reasons that you are here. I'm gonna say that I do not agree with their marketing position that they have taken for this device whatsoever on their website. And because I am that guy, we're just gonna go ahead and read it word for word right off the website so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about and have a good old chuckle. So here it goes. Without further ado, <clears throat> the M905 Talon muzzle brake contains technology that in the past has only been available to special forces and is now being released to the civilian market. It was derived from a hunter who did not like heavy recoil, <coughs> grow a pair, was subsequently forced to shoot small calibers and often found the perfect deer to be out of range. Holy run on sentence. The M905 Talon muzzle brake all but eliminates recoil and allows any shooter to stay on target and fully automatic fire, you know, since everybody has fully automatic fire. The aerospace engineering inside the brake <music> has been scaled up to a 50 caliber prototype that allowed a 32 pound child to fire a 50 BMG safely. U.S. Arms Co. <laughs> Get that shit off your website, man. <laughs> like, whoever wrote that should be put in charge of, like, packaging. I mean, not packaging, like, shipping. Like, the packaging, putting it in the box. Only in the box. Nothing else. Don't let them write anything. <laughs> So let's continue while we're here. Size, small, no. Weight, nine ounces. The thing is set up on a thread pitch of half by 28, which is the correct thread pitch for anything that's chambered in 5.56, or as they put it, 223 slash 5.56, which you don't have to do that anymore, this is 2021. What's interesting about their mounting solution is that not only do they include shims to properly time the thing, which is a definitely a good move, but they also, have screws on the side of it for tensioning the breakdown so that you don't have to use any of those chemical means to hold it into place like a locking compound such as rock set or red loctite or vibratite or something like that you can just tension those things down when you're done with it and you can rip it right back off without having to do anything funky like heat the sucker up or dunk it in water for 24 hours but now that i've got all my digs in and i did that on your guys' behalf just as much as mine does it work? Yes, it absolutely does. They claim at 94% recoil reduction, and I don't know exactly how they quantified that, but it does have a substantial recoil reduction. And given that muzzle climb is a function of recoil, particularly in linear operating systems like the AR-15, you're gonna get an appreciable reduction in muzzle climb as well. Definitely allowing you to get those faster follow-up shots if you're looking for something for say competition use, or if you're looking to perhaps even use it on a bolt action rifle, trying to keep that sight picture moving around a whole lot when you shoot that round so that you can track your own vapor trail as you're looking down range. I think it does a very good job in that. Now, they were nice enough to supply this cutaway for us to look at. And if we look at how this works, it is essentially a bunch of junctioned airfoils. For anybody who needs a refresher on how airfoils work, this is the thing that makes your airplane fly. 
Basically, when gas enters this chamber, it is sent around this curve. And that curve, when in comparison to the space above the curve, is a shorter distance. Because of that, the gas must travel faster over the curve than under the curve. Because of that, it generates a forward force, or if it was attached to a fuselage, it would create a vertical force, thus generating lift. The only difference is that these are junctioned together and set in this direction, so it will pull the firearm away from your shoulder, therefore reducing the felt recoil. I have to admit, that's a pretty interesting way to do things and scientifically sound, especially when we consider that we are not giving this thing a load of gas through the entire break all at the same time. There is a gas evolution wave. As the gas moves through, it's gonna go like this as it moves throughout the break, and that is going to exacerbate the effect that I described previously. So, all in all, this is one of those things that I wish that I would have thought of doing something like that. However, the byproduct that I must warn you guys about is that this thing is exceptionally loud. In fact, I went out and did a sound test on this thing in comparison to some other things that we were working on, and suckers loud. I highly suggest that if you plan to shoot this thing that you have very good ear protection or you double up. And guys and guys, that's about all I have to say about the Talon 905 brake from US Arms Co. It's a muzzle brake. It does what muzzle brakes do and it does it pretty darn good, I have to admit. What I would like to see as far as this thing is concerned, is I would like to see a 30 caliber and probably a 45 caliber version as well because really, in my wheelhouse, recoil reduction for me needs to happen at the higher calibers like 4570, 458 SOCOM, things like that. I'm not a competition shooter though. I can see a lot of utility for doing a lot of lay down shooting so that we can get that sight picture to stay relatively static. I think that everybody should be aware of, at least from the perspective of technological advancement and technology integration from other industries into our own. Thanks for watching the VSO Gun Channel. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and hopefully we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to check out our Patreon and subscribe star pages as well as interact with those buttons downstairs over there that uh, allow this video to proliferate because we all know that really YouTube's not gonna help. So there's one time I was asked to attend a party as the entertainment not like that, but I brought several pieces and there were some younger kids there that had never heard gunfire before in their lives. And the reaction of this one little boy sticks with me to this day. He just, and that's what I thought the first time I ever tried this guy.